Hi, this is Gadget Nate here. I wanted to show you a project I've been working on. I've connected these LEDs uh, in a circular manner like this. Uh, I've been able to uh, make it so that you can uh, flash them individually, uh, do different types of patterns, and uh, what have you. Um, now, the one of the really neat things is that even though there are 12 different um, lines reading out the center um, here, 12 different lines reading out here, there's and five different uh, circles that make 60 LEDs. I only needed uh, 17 uh, different pins to hook them up. And the way this is achieved is through something called multiplexing. Multiplexing is where you actually control the current on both sides of the connection uh, to be able to address each of the lights individually. As you can see, I have uh, black wires uh, going around in a circle here. Uh, so black wires are going around in a circle here. And then I have the red wires radiating out from the center. Now the black is usually associated with the negative or with ground. And so I have this hooked up with the negative uh, end of each of the LEDs. And then the red is hooked up to the positive. So in order to turn on this LED, for example, I connect this to ground and then connect the, the red part to, um, to uh, you know, a positive voltage source. And by quickly changing uh, that combination, you're able to control each light individually. In reality, uh, you can't control every single one in real time, but you're able to change which light you're, you're controlling quick enough so that you can't really see the difference. Then I have it uh, connected to this breadboard. I find these breadboards to be a good way um, to keep track of the connections. And then the breadboard I keep in the box. Uh, and then later on, I can hook it up to an Arduino processor that I have here that I can program on the computer. And um, anyway, that's my project right now. I'm, I'm thinking of all sorts of different things I can use with this particular design. I was thinking about light, uh, countdown timer, maybe some type of game. I also thought about hooking up to a, a audio sensor and have it actually uh, change the shape based upon how much sound there is. Uh, if you have some ideas, uh, leave them as a comment or send me an email. You can come by uh, gadgetnate.com to find out more. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.